Hi, in this video I'm showing the uh, test fitting of all the components. This was necessary in this case because, like originally, I had this hard drive down here and it was over covering the power hookup. I tried mounting this hard drive lower and it wouldn't actually fit there. This one's a lot lower, it was hitting, it wouldn't fit because of the motherboard. Uh, I have tuner cards. Uh, this is just a temporary mount for this video card. I'm going to be getting a different one. Um, I have a case fan mounted. I've actually dremeled the hole in the back of the case so I can mount my motherboard and my back plate. As you can see, it's got gobs and gobs of connectors on it, including DisplayPort, uh, DVI, HDMI. I have my TFT device temporarily put in there because it has to go in from the front. There's like bevels on it. It won't I can't put in before the front cover. Um, it actually has a pass through for the power plug so the remote turns it on and off. Turns the computer on and off. It wires into the main uh, connector on the motherboard using this setup right here. So it always has power supply to it even when the system is turned off. A thermal take device. I'm on, I'm median. It's really, really neat the way they designed it. So the TFT always has power to it even when the system's off. Uh, I've got a card reader, which I'll probably eventually get one that matches the system, but I already had it laying around, so I went ahead and stuck it in there. Um, it shows you the side of the case. You can see pass through screw holes where the pinion brackets were on it. The processor um, to make up for the fact that this system only has five SATA ports and I need six. It also has an eSATA. I've ordered a cable from eBay that I'm going to route from the eSATA up into here. It's an eSATA to SATA adapter and uh, that will give me six serial ATA hookups which I need because as you can see I have one, two, three for five hard drives and a LightScribe DVD burner. These things are actually pretty reasonable. This unit came out of an HP, but you can buy ones just like it's about 60 bucks brand new. Uh, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for the next step of the build where I start wiring everything up. Thank you.